Bro, it's one degrees, man. It's snowing out here in London. Do you know what the mad thing is, yeah? We'll get followers from like Canada and certain parts of Europe. They're gonna leave a message saying, I don't know what cold is. Come to my country where it's like minus 50. That's what they always say, bro. <laughs> but I don't care. For me, one, that is mad cold. Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be doing a test drive to fix. Is this volume three? Volume three, my guy. Bro, volume three. The last video, people seem to love it. Back again, it's Penfold. Bruv. Penfold live in the flesh, but this time you the glasses, man. <laughs> Cause I was looking at myself, I was like, yeah, my man looks like Penfold for real. <laughs> I've actually got three jackets, but the main jacket that I wanted to show you is this one. It is the Canada Goose Snow Mantra Northern Light Expedition Jacket. Now, this jacket is meant for expedition. This is meant for serious outdoor activities, working in the outdoors and things like that. So you'd, you'd find this jacket being used in like the Arctic, Alaska, parts of Russia, all of that type of stuff. So and yeah. And London as well today. <laughs> and now in London, only time I would use a jacket like this outdoors is for weather like this. But we were actually gonna go to Iceland and do a video in Iceland. We still might do that next year, but yeah, it was too crazy to go uh, um, Iceland before came Christmas. To us as well. And basically, Iceland came to us, didn't it? Quick cut to this intro, guys, because this video has been brought to you by Harvey Nichols. One of the things that I love looking at over there is drinks. Alcohol, I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to gifting, Harvey Nichols could be a really good place to look at things like certain exclusive drinks that can be found all around the world. Now, I went ahead and bought my mate a nice drink for a gift, but guess what happened? I ended up drinking it. So yeah, I got a bit excited. Exclusive rum. So now I'm gonna have to replace this bottle because I wanted to try it myself, as you can see. A lot of people this week have been asking me, particularly about Canada Goose. Winham, Macmillan, and also the Canada Goose Carson jackets, particularly medium and large. Lots of sizes left i'll put some direct links to those in the pinned comment below so you guys can go ahead and check that out when it comes to stone island they've got a pretty decent selection over there so it's worth checking them out another top that i went and picked up because i'm really into my half zips at the moment is this cream colored top which i picked up called colorful standard the last thing i want to mention to you guys about harvey nichols is their reward program importantly it gives you early access to the harvey nichols cell which which means you can grab more deals earlier than everyone else. Guys, I'll put all of that information in the pinned comments below. Let's get back to the video. I'm loving how the white contrast with the snow, it looks really nice, man, on I know, that jacket. I know, they said the design was actually inspired by the coldest parts of Canada. So is this a hard jacket to source or is it easy accessible for now anyway? No, it's easy accessible. You can get this on Canada Goose's website. There's a couple of different versions. So this is the Northern Lights version where it's um, a little bit more um, water resistance on the material. So you can see on the outside, you've got like a ripstop material. Bro, you see that pocket there, what's that for? Cause it looks like you can put something in there. So I feel like this is meant to be like for ID cards and stuff. Like bearing in right. mind, this jacket is meant to also be for like working conditions. So people in the Arctic or like cold parts of Canada, they might have their ID cards or something like that on there just to identify who they are. You've also got the reflective bits here. So if you're outdoors and there's like lights and stuff or you're working at nighttime and there's some reflective materials, reflective straps here as well. Also, you've got these, you've got these pole handles on the shoulders. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's for example, you can imagine in Arctic temperatures or where there's deep snow or something like that or you fall somewhere and then you're with your comrades they can pull you up literally or drag you using the shoulder using these shoulder guards mad insulation inside this jacket it's very 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 padded and see how much is going on inside this jacket if it was really really cold and you don't want the temperature to get up inside the jacket you'd put this waist bit here and that wow. will ensure that the temperature doesn't go up inside the jacket as well. Mad amounts of storage here. Even the other day when I was wearing it, I managed to put my whole iPad in there. You can fit a whole house in there. Bro, it's massive, man. We're getting a little bit too hot. You've got some side zippers here. So you can just undo that and you can literally control the temperature of the jacket just through uh, just through those zippers right there. So notice that you've pulled in the waist. Is yes. that how it comes or have you done that yourself? No, I've just done that myself. If you want it to be a little bit more tapered. Now, bearing in mind, this is actually a size medium, but you can see how big wow. this jacket is. It almost feels like an extra large. But the point of that is because when it's extreme temperatures, 
you might want to wear more clothing underneath so it's taken into consideration you might want a thick fleece and stuff like that underneath the jacket but yeah so anybody who wants to buy this jacket you would um, recommend them to size down then yeah so if you're a size large i would go for a medium i would i would size down so yeah this I one really stands like out for you man, yeah it's meant to be able to deal with temperatures which is uh, between minus 30 and minus 40 so that's some extreme temperatures and it's got the highest rating on um, canada goose's scale on how they rate jackets so this is a tei5 which means it's, it can deal with extreme weather temperatures what are we talking so price range on this i think we're looking at 1300 yeah man some serious uh some serious cheese canada goose disc you know like a rubber material there and then you've got another canada goose disc right there as well got some nice thick cotton um, cuff I've actually just folded them in because they can be a bit longer like that to protect uh, more of your hand like that storm flap there as well so I can fold that in and that's gonna stop the uh, cold air getting through the zips you see the thing with this jacket though yeah mm. even though that it is quite expensive I do feel like you're paying not only for the brand but almost the sort of craftsmanship like I've seen jackets that have this price tag but it's just more hype and the brand name as opposed to the actual sort of functionality of the jacket whereas with this I do feel like you do get your money's worth and it looks like that it will hold up as well these type of jackets are built like literally for people to work these are like workman jackets almost really you know, like people that are working in these Arctic temperatures, this is the type of jackets that they turn to. But uh, in saying that again, people that might want to do expeditions or people that are going somewhere really, really cold with snow, this is going to be great for them as well. So like I said, I just, whip, I literally just whipped this out just for the temperature that we're having at the moment. Otherwise, you wouldn't really catch me wearing this jacket in any, any other, any other type of conditions. got jacket number two here now man bro jacket number two is the tnf x cause jacket so a lot of you guys know about cause it's a brooklyn based brand isn't it yeah it's based off a street artist named cause and he's come up is sick like anybody who doesn't know if you've got some spare time just have a little look into it so you're yeah. about to school me then bruv so this one's called the himalayan 1994 retro parker All right Take it from a 1994 retro silhouette of the uh, T TNF Himalayan. It's warm, don't get me wrong, this jacket is still mad warm, but coming from the Canada Goose Snow Mantra, I don't think any jacket can compete. Any jacket that I've had can compete with the Snow Mantra, man. It's got 700 downfill, as you can see right over there right there so it's really puffy got lots of quick release like typically on expedition jackets they like to do quick quick release what sort of print is on the jacket would you say it's like a camo it's like a graphite camo type print so it has like a little bit of edgy but still not too much for the casual person who don't really want to stand out is it? yeah yeah exactly so it's got a nice balance of in between i, I would reckon i was gonna say that I feel like Cause could have been a bit more experimental with this one mm. because there's like loads of North Face jackets that people can choose from and yeah. I really like the Cause um, Oh the, the robot, the robot thing Yeah that thing, like right. I feel like that could have been implemented into the jacket, in the jacket in some way like yeah. even the face or something Yeah, yeah because yeah. if I was to walk in the shop and see the this. only thing that will tell me that this jacket is a cause jacket mm. is the two crosses here because the that's the eyes of the companion mm. figure you like the hood didn't it bro i don't like the way the hoods i don't like how it's like when it's off it just feels a bit i can't describe it like lazy man it's like it doesn't like it kind of drifts to the side and i don't know nah the hood ain't doing it for me definitely go for the nipsy over this one right so on the inside of the jacket got some mesh fit in there bro got a little pocket if you want to put little pocket stuff if you want to put little bits in there you may have a phone We've got some pull cords if you want to taper it up on the waist. Nice bits, big wide pocket. Not as wide as the uh, Canada Goose, but still very wide nonetheless. Got his real down insulation on the inside jacket. Got another pocket on the outside there, and you've got a nice mesh pocket there as well. Just not as warm as the Canada Goose uh, Snow Mantra. But then again, I don't think any jacket is as warm as the Canada Goose Snow Mantra, so it's a bit of an unfair comparison. Make a life This is the third and final G 
jacket is the Candidus Ericsson model. Now this jacket is not really one that really crops up quite a lot. It is still available on the Canada Goose website but it's one of those ones that you don't really see a lot. It's not a super popular model like that. But for me, when I see models like that and I don't see a lot of people wear them, then I kind of get attracted to that because I think not a lot of people have it. From my personal collection, you can see there you've got the reflective on the arms also you've got the reflective on the upper back and also you've got it on the pocket there as well so that's quite nice this one is a bit more of a um, full length three quarter parka so it gives you a little bit more warmth just past the hip also down insulated on the inside of the jacket so it is quite warm very sturdy as well so nice mesh pocket there got some pockets on the inside of the jacket a trim that kind of extends out a little bit and the fur can come off so if you don't want to wear the fur you can take that off as well because a lot of people are preferring not to wear the fur these days but yeah overall this one is a really nice jacket when i look at all three of the jacket man the snow mantra is just amazing like when you put that jacket on nothing else feels warm to you after after you wear that jacket so it has got an unfair advantage after that i think warm is probably actually going to go to the um north face Paws jacket you know wow I would say that was that's warmer than this. Over this? Over this. This is warm, but it doesn't feel as padded as the North Face. Now, this, the North Face is a 700 downfill. This one, I'm not sure what the fill is, but it doesn't feel as, as puffy as the, and any of the other two jackets. Bro, we're out of here, man. Time to get out of the snow. Peace.